You know, this road is gonna be extremely nice and beautiful. This is done. But man, is it taking a while? And <laughs> it's a mess. I mean, there's just, I don't know, you can't really see very well on the camera, but there's gravel everywhere. Thanks a lot, dipshit. You're supposed to park back there. Just staring at me. So I went back to uh, Kawasaki today with my family this time. Surprisingly, my family came with. Um, for those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while on the channel, I, uh, you guys know that we, my father and I have been trying to get my mother to ride a motorcycle, like ride her own. And uh, for years she's always said no. And uh, she agreed to come with us to sit on a bike that we liked for her, which was the Kawasaki Vulcan S. They had all four colors sitting there. So they had their um, black, the matte black finish with the matte lime green, which is spectacular. And then they had their matte orange and then their blue black pinstripe style. And then they had their white which was also really nice and she liked the white um, because we could customize it for her by putting like vinyl decaling across the tank and stuff for uh, being purple that way she had the purple accent and all that but uh, I don't think she's convinced really she liked it at first and then she just lost all interest in the bike so uh, we moved on and uh, I got her, my mom, her, my mom, God, her and my sister, fuck, if I can get my words together, I am speaking blonde all weekend. Um, her and my sister to look at the little Z125 Pro, which is an awesome little bike. And uh, while they did that, um, the dealer that helped me with my um, tire, shit that went on with nails um, he was there and he helped my father and I we talked about they had a they still have the 2015 uh, ZS6R non ABS unfortunately but it's the 30th anniversary edition sitting there and they also have um, a brand new 2016 ZX10R KRT edition turning into the parking spot and then turning out learn how to drive god damn um, anyhow road rage done my dad was asking me because uh, I liked I've had an obsession over the ZX6R forever I've always wanted one just because they are I feel like in my opinion the perfect street bike um, and he asked me about the ZX10R. He's like, well, aside that it's five grand more, why would you go with one over the other? Like, why, what would make a ZX10R better? So then the dealer and I were talking about it, telling about the different things, um, about how it's gonna have a better suspension, it's gonna have the Brembo brakes and all that, and then it's also gonna have a massive power difference due to the fact that this is a thousand cc. Um, it won't have to work as hard as the 600 to get it around, was the bottom line that we told him. I mean, it is the truth. We wouldn't lie to him about it. And um, he liked it. And then we talked about it a little more in the car, so. But I think a ZX6R is gonna be my next bike after this. I don't know, it's just, I'm six foot three, uh, 205 pounds around, so I'm a tall motherfucker. And uh, finding a sport bike, oh uh, look, is he gonna yell at me? 
Is he seriously gonna come yell at me? He's coming up next to me. It's the guy that I rev my engine at that doesn't know how to drive. Oh no, that's not them. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyhow. The where was I at? I'm completely like off topic now. I don't remember! Oh! Um where was I at guys? ZSXR 636. Oh, uh, height and all that. So I have long legs. Um, my inseam is 36 inches. So they're they're pretty long. I know other people, like my mother, my mother's shorter than me, but she has a longer inseam. I think hers is like 38, 39 inches. It's crazy, even though she's shorter than me. She has really long legs and a short torso. I have this cobweb on my super spider um, the 636 the foot pegs are um, lower than the 650 and then they're brought back and then with it having hand, uh, clip-ons instead of handlebars you're pushed forward so you're stretched out which I always loved for the Kawasaki bikes in general because the ZX 10 R is that way too um, you can go to the uh, Yamaha R6, which I feel like I love the new R6, the new 2017. Um, I think it's amazing looking. I know a lot of other motor vloggers have been hating on it, even though they've never even freaking rid it. God damn, they drive me insane because all they do is look at pictures of the bikes, and it's like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna rate the bike and do a review on it. It's like you never even sat on it. You never even looked at it in person. So shut up. Anyhow. Um, I've sat on all bikes, all 600s, all leader bikes. Um, and when I say sit, like I don't just sit there on the showroom floor. I mean, I don't ride them, obviously. But I put them down on my kick, on their kickstand, and then like I put my feet up on the pegs. That way, I get like a rough estimate of how my legs will work on them. And I felt like a monkey riding, I don't know, riding something small, like a log, on the uh, R6. Just the foot pegs are pushed up and forward and then the uh, clip-ons are down and back so I, I look really funny on one which is why I think the 636 will be my next bike but I've uh, been wanting to sell my 650 for a while and do the ZSXR for those of you who uh, know me personally you know this because whenever we talk about bikes the 636 will come up every now and then That was my morning. That was my morning. I went to Kawasaki. Unfortunately, we were going to stay longer to talk about bikes, but unfortunately, I didn't realize that my sister and her little one was going to be coming with, and I did not plan on the little one coming with because she does not give a single crap about motorcycles at all. And she became really restless when my dad finally started getting intrigued into the freaking super sports. Like, come on, the one time that he agrees to come to Kawasaki with me, the whole herd has to come with. Yeah. So hopefully, of course, more conversation will spark up about it. Whee! And of course, they're, they're nagging on me for, um, I had footage that I was gonna post of, uh, CSU, Colorado State University's campus. I did a tour. Sorry, I didn't wave to him if he waved at me. I did a tour of their campus on the bike. And then also my sister uh, walked around with me on campus as she went there and graduated there. And uh, the footage of me riding my bike turned out to be like 30, 40 minutes long. And I wasn't going to do that to you guys. Um, for that long of a footage. Plus, it would have been really hard to go through. It would have taken a long time to um, edit all that. So, bottom line from the footage from that vlog is that my parents want me to come back to Fort Collins. They want me to transfer from University of Wyoming to Colorado State University since tuition would be cheaper. And, um, they want me to do that. They wanted me to actually come back like this winter. Like I would finish up this semester and then go on to um, 
due next semester, so spring of 2017 at CSU, but I didn't have enough time to um, get all the paperwork done and all that, because I haven't even started the paperwork anyways. But they've been nagging on me to um, get me to come home. So I told them, I was like, if I come home, I'm living in a house, not an apartment, because I want a garage to put my bike in. I told him, I was like, if I come home, I'm taking my bike from you guys. You don't get it anymore. They're like, okay. We knew that was going to happen. I was like, damn right you knew that was going to happen. And they are stopping. What is wrong with traffic? It's Saturday afternoon. There shouldn't be this many cars out. Like, there's nothing going on. Like, I understand it's Halloween weekend, but, like, really? I don't know. But yeah, they've been trying to get me to come home. And, uh, I don't know. I want to come home, but then again, like, I'd lose my friends I have up there, because we would probably never talk ever again. I'd probably never see him again, which would suck. Um, I had friends down here in Fort Collins, but, uh, they stopped talking to me after I got my bike, because they thought I was full of shit when it came to me getting my motorcycle endorsement, number one. Number two was getting the freaking bike itself. Um... They thought I was I was not serious. They thought I was joking around. And I got my endorsement and I came to school. This was in high school when I got my endorsement. And they uh, they were like, oh, uh, he got his endorsement. That doesn't mean he's going to get a bike. And then throughout my uh, freshman year of college was when I think they realized that I was being serious. And then I came home with the bike and I got called by all of them saying, uh, did you get a motorcycle? And I was like, uh, yes I did. And then that was it. Like, that's when they stopped talking to me. It's like, wow, you guys are asshats. I don't know, I don't know if they stopped talking to me because of that, or I don't know what. I need to get over, actually. Um, I guess, so... It would be cheaper for me on tuition wise. Living wise will probably be about the same. It'll probably be uh, probably be about uh, twelve hundred dollars for a house, and then split that between a roommate um, would be about six hundred, which is not any much different from my current situation. I'm at five forty a month. Five fifty one is my current total because of energy. Um, energy, my apartment complex just rails you with because, and it's not really their fault. It's because the previous place was the Grove, is what built the complex, and uh, they uh, built the entire place to run off electricity, which was stupid on their part. Um, parking would be very expensive because. Up at uh, UW, what I do is I park at a, um, a parking lot that's at the bottom of my apartment complex hill, because we're up on a hill, and uh, then a transit bus for the university comes and picks us up, us students that park there, and the parking's free. So, I need to get over it. And I heard a rumor from somebody at university who knows somebody, like somebody at UW who knows somebody at CSU, said that tuition was 500, or not tuition, parking was $500 for a parking permit. Um, because it would be very difficult to, for me to find a place that will have the city bus transit for the university. Um, I don't want to live near campus at all. I have no desire to, even though my parents want me to. Uh, I can't see around you. I'm going. So yeah, I mean, living, living would be about the same. Parking would be expensive because I'd have to get a parking permit for both 
my bike and my car. So that's two permits I have to pay for. And motorcycles will probably be, I'm guessing, if a car is about $600 or $600, $500 around approximately, I'm guessing a bike is going to be um, about, I don't know, $250, $300, which is quite a bit. Um, but I would get front row parking, number one. Number two, I would also have my bike. I don't have my bike, obviously, in Laramie. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of pros and cons between the two. And I haven't decided yet. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. What would you guys do? What would you do in my situation if uh, you had to transfer to a different university? Would you guys do it? Like, if you could have your motorcycle and stuff and all that. So, I don't know if I'm not, I should nod to this person or not. One major con about coming back is having to deal with all the drama that I left behind. I mean, I went to University of Wyoming to leave all the drama that everybody created down here. There's so much bickering in between everybody, and it still is. I see it all over Facebook, and I started unfragging, unfragging, unfriending. I unfriended like 110 people, I think, as the count now, some around 110 people that I just don't want uh, like anywhere near my life because all they do is just bring negativity. Um, I would have to deal with that. I'd see them more often, I really don't. But um, I think one thing that I would do is that I would probably look about actually getting a bigger bike and nobody will know about it. Like only you guys on YouTube will know about it and like extremely close friends or family will know about the bike because then what happens is it kind of like cloaks me so that way like because people on Facebook would know that I ride a bright orange and it's just 650 because I have pictures all over my Facebook of it and if I did like a black bike or just like anything other than an orange bike they wouldn't see they wouldn't know that like oh like this is him and then come bother me so I need to figure out how to get funds together to finally do a bigger bike. Um, I've looked, obviously I have my obsession over 636. I have looked at the FZ09, but how much I love the FZ09, it's more of a fuck around bike. Like what I mean by that is like, it's got so much torque that it, it's not designed to to speed like a sport bike, to pick up that speed. It's designed that if you flick that throttle too hard, like on a sport bike, you flick the throttle really hard, it will launch. The FZ09, the front tire just picks up. And I don't want that for, oh, safety. I like having that really quick speedy getaway kind of a thing if I need to get in a merge lane or something. So I need to figure out how to get 10 grand, which I don't have. If I sold this bike for about four, maybe five, five grand. Do you think I can get this for five grand? Sold this for five, I'd need five, and I have that. But um, that's just a lot of money to spend right now. So I don't know, I don't know. we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, Unfortunately, the, the riding season is coming to an end here since uh, it will be November now. And um, we've had a pretty pretty dry winter so, or fall. Um, usually we have our, our snow somewhat by now. Up at UW, we've already had our snow, but it didn't stick, which sucked. We got... I don't know, half an inch one night, and then by mid-afternoon it was gone, and then two weeks later we got another half an inch, and it was gone by morning time, which sucked. But this gets me more more riding time here. Um, but regarding the riding season, I will be getting more footage out. Um, it just won't be like motorcycle riding. Is probably what won't be depending on uh, weather wise if we get snow even if the snow melts some R6 yeah 
even if the snow melts, um, it'll still be a lot of gravel on the road. I'm not risking the gravel again like last year. So um, I'll get, a, I already have ideas for other videos to do. So don't worry guys, the footage will keep on coming. Um, it just won't be moto vlogs, it'll just be regular vlogging. I'll do worth this stuff, don't worry. Maybe I'll do more cooking. That's one idea I've had, is cooking. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this vlog. Um, quick note, um, I will be coming out with videos of um, for new riders for how to pick out proper riding gear and all that. Um, I was gonna do it by now, but with uh, Christmas coming up, my dad wanted me to know what kind of gear I wanted as a present. So I went ahead and asked for more gear. That way I have more to show you all of uh, the different types. So I will be able to show you the differences between uh, a leather, a full leather race jacket style, um, a textile leather combination, and then a mesh, a mesh textile. Uh, combination and then also I'll have different gloves um, gaunt two different types of gauntlets and then um, the shorties and stuff so I'll have a whole range of gear so please stay tuned for that um, I'll make sure I do a pretty good job of doing that but that won't happen until probably after Christmas because I need to wait for the gear so yeah anywho um, if you want me to cover anything any topics anything at all um, doesn't need to be really specifically motorcycle related if you don't want it to but if you do have any ideas um, feel free to post in the comments below if you like my video hit that like button if you dislike my video please let me know in the comment section of what um, I can improve on to kind of be help better entertain you all um, if it's something that you see that see wrong with my videos that you think I could do better on feel free to post in the comments I'm more than happy to uh, go ahead and try try uh, working on that whatever it is if there is anything um, subscribe now you've done so that'd be awesome more videos to come and happy Halloween stay safe drink a lot don't drive oh yeah <laughs> all right see you later guys